Well, I think we can all agree these days that there is a lot of disunity among us. There's a lot of things that are just dividing us right now, but I wanna get one thing straight before we get too far into this video. I wanna get one thing straight that I think levels the playing field. One thing that brings unity among all of us, and that is this, that your poop smells just like my poop. We all do it and we all stink. Whew. Now that we got that out of the way, I think we can get into this video. Hey, we're the Morses and we're going mobile. We're moving out of this house in the burbs and we're going to start taking the back roads in our new RV. Life is a little interesting packing all six of us inside here, but we are ready for the challenge. Well, now I feel like we can just have a good, honest, heart-to-heart -heart conversation about poop. How do we deal with it both inside and outside our RV? You know, maybe the thought of having to deal with your poop inside or outside your RV has just got you overwhelmed, maybe even stressed out, maybe even just downright emotional. Either way, you're all bound up inside and you need to get things loosened up. And I'm here to help. Welcome to RV Poop Shooter 101. With your completion of today's course, you're gonna be able to go out there, open up those valves, and just let it all flow out confidently. But before we get into today's video, I need my daily dose of potion to help get things flowing. Let's go. Listen, if you're gonna be an RVer, you need to start drinking coffee, but not just any coffee, not garbage coffee, good coffee because the beginning stages to any good RV poop shooting system to keep it flowing smoothly, it's good coffee. That's gonna get things moving nicely. All right, back inside. The most important thing you need in order to have a good flowing RV poop shooter system is to have a good tank treatment. Now listen, I've tried them all. I've tried the pods, I've tried the little liquid things. We've been RVing full time for five months and we had two RVs before that. And so we've tried them all. But the one thing that I have found that works the best is probably what you've maybe read about already and it's the Happy Campers odor-free powder. You just put one scoop in the toilet, mix it with water and flush it down. And I'm telling you right now, the stuff turns everything a liquid. It takes your toilet paper, it takes the other stuff. When you drain it out and you pull the valve, that stuff comes out as liquid. You don't see any toilet paper. It is pretty mind blowing how awesome this stuff works. I'm gonna put a link for you in the description. You can only get it on Amazon. That's where I found it. You can only find it online. Um, you can't find it in the stores. And it does seem expensive at first, but you will use way less of this. It will last way longer uh, than the pods or the liquid things. Okay, and that brings me to my next point, which is the big question of do I leave my black tank valve open or closed? And the answer to that is simply leave your black tank closed until you get it filled up, until it's time to dump it. Your treatment that we just talked about is completely worthless if you don't allow it to fill up. You need that liquid in there to allow it to work and start to break down those materials. And then the other thing about this is that gravity is your friend here in a big way. You know, when your tank is full and you go to pull this open, all the weight of that liquid, all the weight of that water is gonna push it out and clean out your tank uh, way better than it would be if you left it open. When I get to my camping spot, the first thing I do, and I get after I get hooked up, I'm assuming you already know how to do that, um, is I'll open up the gray tank, leave the black closed. And that way, the gray water can just flow on out. You don't have to worry about that. You can take your nice, warm, long showers and you don't have to worry about it filling up. But then when I know it's gonna be getting time to dump my black tank, I'll close the gray water tank, maybe the night before, give it some time to fill up. That way, when I go to open up my black tank, I clean out the black tank, and then I'll open up the gray tank to flush it all out, to flush out my line and keep it clean. And the next thing on the inside I wanna talk about is putting enough water in the bowl. I think as newer RVers, we often make the mistake of thinking we, we wanna just use a tiny bit of water, just a little poof of water in there when we go to the bathroom, but you need to add water to the bowl. And the best way to think of it is you need to have enough water in the pool before you drop the kids off, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, the other way to think of it is you wanna make your toilet look like it does at home, you know, where there's enough water in it. So let me show you just real quick. Before you go number two, you jump in here and you fill it up with some water. I know that sometimes it's really hard to wait this long when you really gotta go, but you need to add water to the bowl. About like that much right there. And then you can go ahead and you can do your business. And then there's plenty of water to help push it down through and into the tank. 
If you're like me, you like to have a shiny hiney. And for people that like to have a shiny hiney, we use wipes pretty much exclusively. For those of you that don't use wipes, I don't get it. If you get a little poop on your arm, do you just get a little piece of toilet paper and wipe it off? No, you wash it off with something wet or soap or something. So that's why I use wipes. But, and a big but, pun intended, if you're gonna use wipes in your RV, do not, I repeat, do not ever flush them down the toilet. So what we do is we keep a trash can right next to the toilet just for that. And I know it's kind of gross, and I know that it's not all that beautiful and glamorous, but I don't care, because I would rather have a shiny hiney. So how do you know when it's time to dump your tank? I know a lot of our RVs, they have these fancy little gauges that tell us when the tanks are full, or maybe yours makes a beep like mine. But if you know, like I do, those things are worthless. You know, the tank gets filled up with stuff, maybe there's toilet paper on the sensor, and it's inaccurate. And so what do you do? Now, I know that you can put ice in there, and drive around and clean off your tank, but listen, that's annoying. I'm not gonna do that every time we move. So here's what I offer you. Become one with your black tank. Become so uniquely connected to your tank that you just know when it's time to dump it. For me, I just listen to those auditory, harmonious sounds of the water tranquilly flowing down into the tank. Or, you know, it's like when you fill up a water bottle, right? It starts to get full, the sound changes, you just know it's time. And that's what I do. I don't really look at the gauges, I just know when it's time to dump the tank. Okay, here's your proof that my system is clean and it's gonna flow like red wine. Are you ready? Next most important thing, get yourself a clear one of these because there's nothing better than seeing all your crap just drain out. And I might be a sicko, it's quite possible, but to me, it's like mowing the lawn. It's so rewarding just to see it all be clean. Look at, and you see there's no chunks, and I'm showing you this because this is real life, everybody's gonna do it, and remember, it all stinks, but there's no chunks coming through, there's no toilet paper coming through, it's just clear, almost clear liquid. Well, okay, it's not clear, but it's liquid, and there's no chunks, and that's the way it should be. Thank you to the Happy Campers Take Treatment. I know a lot of our RVs these days have the black tank flush out systems on it, and those are great. Personally, I use them about every three to five times. For me, it's just another step. It's kind of annoying. I gotta hook the hose up and do all that. And so what I do is I do the things that I just talked about, and that keeps my system really clean. And then I do the black tank flush out um, every few times just to really get a good cleaning. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. Uh, maybe you think I'm a huge idiot. I don't know. Maybe just let me know in the comments. Uh, maybe you have tips and things that you've done that work really well for you. I'd love to know those. We're a travel family of six. We've been traveling in the RV for five months. If you want to follow our adventures, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching, guys.